Christmas is coming. Um, the actual the Cambridge here is starting to get their Christmas market um, Christmas markets ready and the Christmas light switch on. Um, I'm actually here um, with Angela, who's chairman of the St Ives Town Initiative. Um, it's nice to see you. Thank, Thank you, you for agreeing to talk to me. Um, can you explain and give some information on your on the actual switch on of the Christmas lights, which is taking place on Sunday, the second of December? Um, how long has the actual organising of the lights been been um, been doing, and who's involved? Well, we now work with the, the Christmas Lights, the St Ives Town Initiative, work with the Christmas Lights Committee, which is a, a separate committee, but we basically start at the beginning of the year to do the two events together so that the culmination on the 2nd of December um, works really well. Um, and in the past, we've had sort of a little bit of work between the two, but now we work really, really closely together, um, which obviously is, is benefits to everybody because we're not doubling up on things. Um, and the lights go on on, on the 2nd of December, as you say, um, at 5 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, they're usually switch, they're switched on by Father Christmas, um, and the town mayor will be on there, and so will be other representatives of other organisations. So fantastic opportunity for children to come and see Father Christmas. Oh, absolutely, yes. Brilliant. There will be Father Christmas in his grotto. Okay. Do you rely on a lot of funding for these events, or...? We have we are we have to find funding. We have to find sponsorship for the whole event. Yes. Yeah, and is, does that prove to be quite difficult? Or do in these economic climate, it has been very very difficult. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's it's getting more and more difficult each year. Yeah. Okay. I mean that that's really such a shame because you want these events to take place and happen, and Absolutely. you want the community to get involved. Um, I understand that you're having um, some new lights in Bridge Street this this year. So, what what was the idea behind that? How did that come about? All of the, the lights over the last few years have needed to be looked at and re some replaced, and, and sort of some of the, the lamp um, posts which they're attached to have needed new timers. So we've worked hard over the last couple of years to get all of the, the infrastructure in place, which we've now got, which has enabled us to um, get new lights for Bridge Street and also to take some of those lights now into Marylands as well, which is an area that's not been covered in the past. Okay. Um, so we've now managed to do all of that. And we're looking next year to be able to perhaps light up the bridge oh, um, wow. and that area, which will be fantastic because that's obviously what the town is known for. So it would be really nice if we could do the key area. Um, so we've been trying to do a bit more each year yeah. um, to, enco you know, to, to encompass the whole of the town. Excellent. And can you just give a brief mention of what you've got at the market that's, that's going to be there on the, on the second? The market will it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and we have all sorts of different stalls with it in, in Market Square. Um, there will be our twinning associations um, with, with Stat Orendorf. They always come over every year and bring over glue vine and stolen cake and all of those things. So they will be there as well. And then we've got lots of individual stalls selling all sorts of Christmas knickknacks. Um, there will be food stalls there available um, selling obviously things, pies, um, all sorts of different things from, from that side. Um, and then also we are now ha this year having a continental market in Crown Street as well, which will bring a different flavour. Um, we've, we had them last year to start with and they went down very well. And then also um, in the market square is there will be the, the Ferris wheel um, that children and adults can ride on. There will be children's rides, um, fairground rides as well. So there will be something for everybody. And in the middle of the, that will be the Father Christmas Grotto. Of Christmas. Wow, oh excellent, it sounds really exciting, I mean I'm for one planning to be there and see exactly what's going to be there, so I hope um, the community will come out and, and support it. Thank you very much for taking the time out to answer a few questions. My pleasure.